Cześć, pozdrowienia z Udajpur. Wczoraj było 26 stopni, a dzisiaj jest 19 i zamarzamy. All right, so whatever you heard right now, it's all in Polish. And Carolina here, my newfound friend in Hostela, she's going to tell us what exactly she meant. Uh, so I just said that like uh, greetings from Udaipur. Yesterday it was 26 degrees and today it's 19 degrees and it's yeah. freezing. It's Eskimo super cool. mode. <laughs> Good morning everyone! It's 4.30 in the morning and I'm at the Mumbai airport going to Udaipur. Check-in is done and I'm ready to board the flight now. The thing that I'm really excited about is to see the sunrise from my flight. just came out of the Udaipur airport it's 7.20 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning and it is super chilled okay now I'm going to book a cab till our place, the hosteller in Udaipur so I have arrived at the Fateh Sagar lake one of the biggest lakes in Udaipur uh, Fateh Sagar Lake is the first place that I'm visiting in Udaipur for my day one right now. So what I did is I came to Hosteller, I rented a bike from there. So there are a lot of uh, you know, bike rentals available nearby. So I rented a bike rent kiya, Activa rent kiya. of course. It, uh, they took around 350 rupees per day. And from there, then I started my ride towards Saheli Ki Bari. Like this is called the Saheli Marg. And Saheli Marg se hoke, you come to Fateh Sagar Lake. Yahan se mujhe Sajjangarh bhi dikh raha hai. I don't know if you can see it's there. So right at the top of the hill, I can see Sajjangarh there. Wahan pe main baad mein jaungi. Par yahan se wo bahut hi khoobsurat dikh raha hai. Now I am in Sahelio. Um, this is the second stop after Fateh Sagar Lake. I took a full circle of the Fateh Sagar Lake. I took a round mark. I mean, I took a full complete circle of the Fateh Sagar Lake. And then I have come again to a place called uh, Sahelio Ki Bari, a garden of friends, girl friends. <laughs> there are several fountains in this entire garden, and every fountain has some kind of name given to it. There is a structure to it and there is a story to it and the story also resembles the name which is given to the uh, to the fountain as such visiting Sahiriyan Ki Bari, it was time for lunch. Natraj Hotel near Udaipur Station is famous for vegetarian Rajasthani Thali. So I straight headed towards Natraj Hotel to taste some Rajasthani flavor.
Japesh temple also had a small painting exhibition inside. Paintings made out of colored stones. Chemical colors. Have you seen the city palace museum? Now we are not going there. These stones are the old paintings that were made in 400 years ago. For example, yellow colored sulfur. 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 Black mercury. That we get from red oxide. White zinc. This type of zinc is classic color. So mix it with the second one. Try it, can you? Yes. Yes. Good luck. Power. Love. Jaipur. Udaipur. Jasalman. Pink city, white city, golden city, Hathi Goda Pali ki chaykan in there. बहुत सुंदर है ये बहुत सुंदर है All right, so people, I am at Hathi Pole right now. आज का एक दिन का प्लान है कि मार्केट जाएंगे। यहाँ पे बहुत सारे बांधनी के शॉप्स हैं, जूती के शॉप्स हैं। You can see her around behind me. So, Juti ke shops bohat sare hai haan pe. There are a lot of shops with antiques as well. So, a lot to explore and a lot to buy also. Lekin sab se pehle meinne kya khari da to ye jacket. Because it's pretty cold here right now and I did not imagine that it would be this cold. And hence, I first went and bought a jacket for myself. And now I am peaceful. I can roam around and just do some kind of shopping for myself. So people, party cool for you. So taken this one, orange one, ye firozi color, or ye grey. People, this is it for today, for day one. I am back at hostel. यहाँ पे आठ बजे के बाद कर्फ्यू स्टार्ट हो गया है पूरे उदयपुर सिटी में, so the shops are going to close after eight o'clock. I am at the rooftop of hostel. I am going to sit here and enjoy some views. You can see the lake. I don't know if you are able to see there. So there is a lake here. ये तो पिचोला लेक Good morning everyone from Udaipur. It is day two of my stay. Today there are some restrictions here. You cannot go around on a bike. There is no public transport available either. Bike on rent. All shops are closed. And monuments are closed for today. But you can walk around. You can visit places nearby. Now the plan is that we will go and see all the ghats because the ghats are open. What I am going to do is, I am going to just walk around the entire old Udaipur city. So people, it is around 9.45 am in the morning, Sunday morning and it's a very beautiful Sunday morning. I am at Gangaur Ghat and the view from here is super amazing. There are multiple ghats here, Gangaur Ghat, Hanuman Ghat, Amrai Ghat. So a lot of ghats are there, I'm planning to visit all of them today. This is the first one and this is beautiful. There are many ducks here. One thing that I've noticed in the lakes here are it's, you know, there are a lot of ducks floating around and they are super cute. On the other side of the Satta pole, there are various other ghats like the Amrai Ghat and 
Hanuman Ghat, but unfortunately they were closed today, so I couldn't visit those ghats. In the evening, I, along with a few other travellers from Hostel, we decided to go to a small hilltop called Upeshwar to see the sunset. It is kind of an offbeat destination in Udaipur, but worth visiting. The view of the sun setting over the Aravali mountain ranges is amazing. So we just sat there throughout the evening watching the sunset and then went back to hostel.